Let's now speak to Reza Hitami, who's in Tehran. And Reza, the death toll is rising by the day there. And officials are refusing to put the country uh, under lockdown. At the same time, there have been reports that the country's roads are packed with New Year holiday travelers. Where is the situation headed? Well, as you said, the death toll is rising by the day. Uh, the latest toll, death toll is uh, 1,100 people have died, died of, have, di have died of the virus, and uh, the number of cases have, uh, has passed 17,000. Authorities reported 147 uh, new deaths in the past 24 hours, uh, which makes it the deadliest since the outbreak started in the country. Uh, yes, authorities uh, here are refusing to put the country under total uh, lockdown. However, they have uh, imposed uh, unprecedented restrictions. For example, uh, they have closed the holy Shia shrines in uh, Mashhad and Qom over fears of the outbreak of the virus. And also many cities are banning the entry of visitors. However, many people are not following guidances and uh, there were reports that the roads outside of the capital were packed with uh, travelers yesterday and also uh, today. Uh, a report by a, uh, a university in Tehran has found that um, if people start uh, following guidances right now, the death toll uh, could be around 12,000 before this outbreak is over. But if people uh, fail to adhere to any safety instruction, then the death toll could be uh, in their millions uh, before this outbreak is ended. Reza, the sanctions I know against Iran have complicated the efforts to contain the outbreak there. And Washington is facing growing calls to ease them. But how is it, how likely is it that the sanctions could be eased against Iran? Iran is acknowledging that U.S. sanctions are severely hampering its efforts to contain uh, the coronavirus outbreak. The country's foreign minister has called for a global campaign to disregard U.S. sanctions because he says they are killing innocent civilians. Countries like China and Russia have echoed Iran's call. Uh, they have uh, urged Washington to lift the sanctions now. And also there was a report by The Guardian yesterday that uh, the U.K., is secretly telling Washington to ease the sanctions. Also, there are calls from uh, the, United, the United States uh, itself. For example, uh, the Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders yesterday called for sanctions relief. However, the Trump administration is uh, pursuing a maximum pressure campaign against Iran, and uh, there is no sign that shows uh, the, the United States is uh, going to ease the sanctions. For example, uh, just two days ago, uh, Washington imposed more sanctions on Tehran, and uh, more, imposed more sanctions on Tehran. The United States has offered its own humanitarian aid, uh, but uh, Tehran has refused to accept it, saying uh, it's just a show, and has urged Washington to lift the sanctions if uh, it is truthful. Uh, and also, but countries like. Uh, uh, Turkey and all other neighboring countries and Asian and European countries have managed to send some aid uh, into Iran. The World Health Organization has also offered Iran with some humanitarian aid in terms of diagnostic kits and other products. Iran has also uh, asked the International Monetary Fund in $5 billion in emergency funding to help it tackle the virus outbreak. All right. Reza Hatami live in Tehran. Reza, thank you.